Hi, hello again, everybody. Great to see you here. So we have Emilia Rosenblatt, an executive headhunter, about to go on stage now. So welcome, Emilia. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm good too. Thank you. So really shortly, uh, Emilia, you have uh, more than 12 years uh, of executive and tech recruiting experience within startup and global companies in different industries, right? So cyber, financial, data, machine learning, AI, and the list goes on. And you're gonna to talk to us here about employer branding and speaking the language of employees before everyone else, right? Um, yep. You've got a presentation, so please feel free to start. The stage is all yours. Hi, thank you. Hi, everyone. So you can ask me questions uh, in the end. So we're going to start, we're going to uh, start talking about the employer branding, okay? And uh, we need to do it simple, like it's a conversation and the conversation goes on. So let's, let me brief uh, about me. So I'm an executive headhunter, about 12 years. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur in my industry because I'm creating like courses, mentorship and stuff. Uh, people invite me to be a keynote speaker. I'm a LinkedIn influencer uh, from 2015 uh, with about 35,000 uh, of uh, uh, followers uh, and also HR and career influencer. So let me begin. Um, as we see, we have a bit of problem in recruiting. It became harder than ever, complex than ever. And everyone, everyone talks about how frustrating it is to recruit a talent. It, it's, it's been talking to HR groups. Uh, I'm talking about with the CEOs, with the uh, VCs that bring me to companies to recruit them. And uh, the most, uh, I think, um, tough position is the R&D position. So uh, we will need to do a little bit order in this. So um, I, I think we will talk uh, about the five things that we could do to attract those talents, okay? Maybe the talents here listening. So first of all, we need to understand the Israeli market and uh, from this uh, slide, you will understand it quite well. So you can look by yourself in the finer startup nation, Israeli company. Uh, all the Israeli companies are there. What we see is that uh, Israeli companies got about $20 billion of investments uh, till today, okay, oh, 2021. It's a lot of money. It's uh, two times more than uh, the previous year. And uh, in 2018, it was $8 billion. So you need to understand it's a lot of money, okay? Also, we had 176 deals that uh, 62 of them were IPOs and, uh, of course, M&As. What it means is... We have a lot of money, a lot of company that need to grow, and uh, a lot of uh, people uh, put uh, the budget, they uh, they uh, like uh, grow in the tech, in the sales, in the marketing on recruiting. So if we need to recruit talents that has experience, we in a tough position because like let's say take the React Native developer with three years of experience, he can, a person can get about four, five, even 10 uh, approaches from recruiters and companies in a day. Um, the, this is what we have today. It's very tough to recruit the R&D teams, also uh, senior products, also all senior positions that we have three years experience and more. And this is because uh, we have a good market, very strong market, a lot of money, a lot of growing up is going on. So first of all, we need to understand as a company, we need to understand, we cannot say, I want to recruit now a person that have an, a, a, 
a scholar, a scholar degree from the Technion on the University of Ben Gurion or Tel Aviv with the 85 uh, GPA. Yeah, so we need to uh, we need to stop, adapt to the market. Second, so we need to build a recruiting process. So every company uh, that before 2021, before the Corona, had it, their recruiting process. But today, we must see how we can uh, affect the speed of the recruiting. So we need to look on our recruiting process from the first call to the contract sign and to see how can we do better with our time. So if I uh, look on fast process, it will be from seven days to 14 days. And uh, my personal record, it's uh, about five days from, uh, um, it, it, it happened in 2018. Uh, I needed to recruit a senior data science, uh, uh, head of data science. And in about four or five days, he signed. The company from the first call has two intensive day of uh, checking exams, meetings, stuff, contract. He give them uh, also his comments on the contract and he signs. So seven days, 14 days is fast. 14 to 28 days, it's also fast, but you need to understand that there's people that are doing faster than you. So it's okay from one to two months, okay? It's okay if you recruit like a VP level or C level, but not the R&D team, it will be it will be slow. And if you're more, um, recruiting more than two months, you're in a problem, okay? You're in a serious problem and you need to uh, do a better job. I cannot like give you the system how to do it and I have only 20 minutes for all the conversation. So let's, talk about social, use the social branding power. So uh, we need to work outbound and inbound. First of all, the inbound, do we explain and check how our employees that already work in the company, uh, what they feel about the company, about the products, can they be our ambassadors? in the social media? Do they bring their friends, like uh, friends referrals? So, and we need and we need really to put time on it and to uh, investigate from the strategy to the plan and the execution, how to um, create our um, branding inside the organization better so, uh, the employees will go outside by themselves. They will be our ambassadors. Uh, this is the first uh, most important things that we need to think about it. Also, we need to think about how the people in our organization feel uh, because we can recruit and they can live. So we didn't do anything, yeah? You cannot just uh, put all your efforts on recruiting, but you need to put the efforts on uh, your customer success, let's say, in your HR, okay? Uh, let's talk about Google, how your website look. So um, if I want to recruit an R&D engineer, he will, first of all, enter your Google website. If it's old, if it's like um, not appealing, he, he won't be attracted to your company. You need it need to be uh, appealing. It needs to be bold. It needs to be uh, if there is a video inside that talks about your product, and you need to have a career there and talk about your. It's very very important. So Google is first. Second of all, we we can see um, the fourth medias that uh, uh, control the uh, till now uh, the social LinkedIn in in high tech, I, I guess it's the first. And, uh, okay. And uh, then we talk about Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, but, but, but we need to uh, be very, very um, 
put the power on LinkedIn because our company profile will be checked in LinkedIn and also the VP levels. So if I am a R&D engineer, I will look out the VP R&D and the CTO profiles. If I'm a product engine, if I'm a product manager, I will look on the VP product and the CEO. So everyone is looking on everyone. So the profile must be better. Okay. Also our Facebook uh, people uh, look for people on Facebook and it's very important to do their also the uh, homework, how can create better brand also there. Facebook, Instagram, it's like the same. Twitter in Israel, it's less, more it's under countries. And uh, um, the TikTok, uh, I'll, TikTok is a new social media for the early adopters. And um, how faster companies will get into TikTok, they will win a more audience. Um, because uh, everybody is there. If it's a grown up audience, they check that the kids how what which content they use or we uh, find their students or uh, uh, also engineers that uh, also join the TikTok. so companies also check the TikTok uh, industry and how they um, can succeed there also need to put your effort also we have youtube and we we had another another places but for the high tech world we need to see how our website working, how our LinkedIn is the first two, then to develop the others and pay attention to TikTok. Don't don't ignore it. Okay, it's very important. Okay, now we need to talk, talk about uh, how to think different to attract the candidates. So first of all, our offices must be hybrid. Uh, the Corona virus and um, like uh, pushed us to the digital um, revolution uh, that people can work from home from the office and it's a hybrid it's like i can work three days off in my office or three days from home and office like this remote work it can be one day in a month so two weeks in an office or um, i can work from another country a remote work also work for some of uh, of the companies okay and, and you cannot like be a company that think that these people is not for me because this is what the people want the employees want and you need to think about it how to uh, embarrass embrace uh, these two uh, optional options to work okay most of the companies i think they hybrid today so we see that it's very difficult to recruit uh, seniors uh, senior talents but we have juniors so companies should and the companies that are doing this build labs training for juniors okay uh, i saw that uh, one if i guess monday built a lab training for sales people and there's uh, also companies that build lab trainings for junior uh, uh, developers that finished uh, their degree and it's very important that companies will go there but to do it they need to have um, seniors uh, seniors team and this is that these things that can do a uh, bigger companies i guess that they have like 100 employees and they are really easy for them to do it Okay, uh, we need to uh, be open for offshore. We don't have, uh, I, I guess we don't have any other option but to uh, start checking offshore. If it's Ukraine, Belarus, uh, there is uh, engineers also in India, uh, Philippines, um, Latvia, uh, different countries uh, need to think about it, okay? We need to put our attention on our social ambassadors. I saw Binance Webster did a great campaign in uh, uh, LinkedIn. They continue with the campaign as the uh, employees talk about the job, how is great work in Binance Webster. And you can see it all around the LinkedIn board and it, it's, it's doing good to the company brand. Your friend referrals. 
pe people uh, should get paid for the friends referrals inside the companies and companies doing it uh, a lot of companies yeah we we, we heard about uh, like gong monday tabula similar web uh, that if you get a friend referral you get paid and different kind of uh, um, like uh, rewards it can be two thousand dollars three thousand dollars one thousand dollars never mind so uh, companies should um, pay attention on the hr path on the personal professional training path and we have companies like uh, growth uh, space that uh, give you um, this um, technical um, solution for it so a person can have a mentorship and in uh, things he need if a person is an r d engineer he can learn like a new language like he can learn now uh, react native he's a react web and he want to learn react native he's a product designer he want to learn a tool he's a product manager wants to be better he's a sales man a sales uh, manager wants to learn something new it, it can help uh, the, I think the most important thing is that uh, sometimes uh, the VP level uh, and the management isn't doing is uh, the listening. Really sit with the employees and listen to their needs. Also listen to the needs of the people that come to uh, the interviews inside your company. It's very, very important. And from the listening you will have more more comments regarding your company regarding your process to do it better and of course if your product is a doing good product okay and uh, or your company is doing good and uh, you need to uh, go for a path because people want to be attracted and be part of something that is going good to the environment to the world uh, to help something like this and you need to show how your product or how your company doing good um, okay so and the engagement okay uh, when you engage you must engage on all the levels so in linkedin and email is a direct engagement and there is a lot of methods how to do it but you need to use it and um, google facebook instagram youtube you need to retarget the audience that you wish to um, uh, that you already target in LinkedIn and email and they do not answer you or you want to continue the, to get your like a, a branding in their mind, in the subconscious, you need to retarget the audience. You need to involve the professional team. So the professional team that recruits need to uh, give the time uh, to talk with uh, candidates maybe even before the hr person to convince them why they should come to your company you need to more 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 work on the friends referrals and the friends of friends and to create more leads to your company and um i, I think one of the important thing is social groups in whatsapp uh, telegram and facebook uh, and they work quite well and um, you need to think um, b beyond not only what you used to do it's like you are living in uh, Netanya and uh, in you have a group of uh, the I don't know friends and and, uh, and school or something like this or, or the army and there's a 12 200 people there so you can say oh we are looking for in our company who wants boom you put it inside this group and um, you can see results as you use uh, whatsapp telegram facebook more social that you can put your uh, jobs uh, of your company so i guess well about 20 minutes and now if people have here questions regarding the employer branding and how to recruit better uh, you can ask me okay all right start. thank you Emil. that was uh 20 minutes sharp um we do have a, a question here um how did you entry level jobs if you could i will put it on stage let's see if you uh see it 
Okay, how do juniors and entry level job seekers could have better chance as an candidates when most companies and HR are looking for experience? This is very good questions, David uh, Abekasis. And uh, I already um, talked about the juniors in my LinkedIn. You need to prepare um, uh, your tick um, avodot. I forgot the, the word in English, but it's, it's like you need to prepare your uh, job abilities. Like uh, you need to go to Upwork, Fiverr, and uh, X Place, take projects. And with this project, you can uh, uh, like show people what you did. Okay, in Hebrew, it, Called stick avodot. Uh, I can check how we say it in English. Portfolio, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great portfolio. Your portfolio yeah, thank you, David. David. And, yeah. and when you do it as a junior, you have better chance, and you also learn more in Udemy courses and stuff like this. And also do a networking, a lot of networking. Okay, that's good. Um, actually, we are one minute uh, ahead of our time already. Well, after our time. And uh, I would um, pick up, okay, maybe one last question. So let's show on stage. Do you see it, Emil? Okay. What are the three greatest factors hindering employee motivation? How can you justify it? I, I didn't understand the question. I would say, uh, let's see what, if we have that. What are the three greatest factors? Hiring, employee, motivation. I, 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 I don't understand the refrain. So uh, hindering that is making it difficult for the employees to be uh, motivated, like how would you motivate then employees? I, I will motivate my employees to uh, help me with the recruiting. I would say if you want to put it in the perspective, uh, yes, maybe that it would be. What are the three greatest factors that, you know, make it, uh, it difficult for employees to keep motivated? I would say this is the question. And how can you um, solve these um, questions? really short really fast because we we need to wrap uh, up the I, I, truly i don't understand the, the question the problem is with i need to motivate my employee to bring me leads for my company this is yeah the yes i'm so, not sure <laughs> so so first of all, rewards you need to give your employees rewards you need to mm -hmm. listen to them you need to mm -hmm. build with them together your brand very it's, it's we talk about it very good. Okay, thank you again. And sorry for that. We really have to rush and end the session now. Thank you for all your questions and for participating. And stick around for the next one. Thank you, Emil. Bye-bye, everybody. Great day.